Hey man, it's your boy Nino. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here with my girlfriend, Rachel. And today we're going to be reacting to AT's Limitless. It's a new song. It is, yes. He's got me in my life. <laughs> I like the vibe. Oh, this is sponsored by Nike. God, the protection here is so good. <laughs> <laughs> the pop that was really nice though. Oh, the gym! They're just working out. It's great. I it's love it. Out. I love it. 10 out of 10. Great contrast. Oh. oh, wow. He's not singing low. I know, yeah. I wonder if you've been noticing, like, their little tattoos behind their ears. No. Okay, hold on. Oh, I love an acapella moment. The little reverse thing I at the end. I like that, at yeah. The end. I did like that. I, I like that too. One thing that Rachel actually told me earlier before we watched this is that it's actually an OP for Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, it's the OP for the new Yu-Gi-Oh! like dual riders or something like that. I'm sorry, Yu-Gi-Oh! fans. I could actually hear that it would be an opening for an anime. Yes, it feels very like shonen anime. Very shonen yeah. anime. <laughs> There's like literally a line where it's like something about dueling. What would you say about the video? It's very fan service -y. Coming from someone... <laughs> I'm not complaining. As an 18e, I feel like 18e's have been asking for like a gym concept for uh, quite some time. Really? Or at least not concept, but like gym like content. Mm, I think from a music standpoint, I did like the beat. And I was surprised to hear who's the dude who sings low normally? Yosan. So Yosan, usually he sings very low. But in this one, he sang the chorus, I believe. That. Oh no, the pre-chorus. We gonna be a winner. Well, 
I mean, like, I feel like he doesn't always sing super low. It's only recently that they started giving him, like, lower parts. I feel like he kills it every single mm. time. So it's kind of sad to not hear his amazing bass, but still pretty mm. good. I like that little breakdown with uh, the rap. What's his name again? Hongju. Hongju. Hey, <laughs> over and over and over, hey, yeah. I'll take him my more than my in control. Hey, guy, this almost looks like if this was played before the Olympics, I could see that. <laughs> Definitely sponsored by Nike for sure. And Under Armour. I feel like it's just fair if you listen to Hongju, you gotta listen to Mingi's verse too. Yeah, since I've been listening to more ATs, I like the contrast between Hongjun's rap and Mingi's rap. Yeah. It's very like, I am your angel and your devil. <laughs> I, know, like. I think we've said this like before, maybe not in previous videos, but like together we've mentioned that. Hongjun and Mingi give off like discount GD and top vibes, not in a bad way. As soon as I hear Hongjun's rap, it definitely sounds inspired. Yeah, you can definitely hear the influence for sure. He is one of Hongjun's like influences. I, th I think it's G-Dragon and Zico. Oh, and speaking of fencing, so- No one was speaking of fencing, but okay. <laughs> one thing I noticed about this fencing part, we've been actually watching this Korean drama called 2521, and if you didn't know, one of the characters in 2521 is also in Ditto. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I was like, wait, I know that guy. No, I don't. Wait, it's that guy from Ditto. We're gonna be a winner. What did he say? Yes. We're gonna be a winner. We're gonna be a winner. Something that I would like to mention is it's definitely very different from their previous Japanese singles. Dreamers, Blue Summer. Which one was Dreamers for? Dreamers was the Digimon one. Like the previous ones have been very like youthy and station and like refreshing mm, i guess mm, mm. this is a lot more like edgy i mean like within reason, see, like it's not as edgy as like it could be again it is like a Yu-Gi-Oh opening but it's a lot more darker in, in terms of like the vibe yeah right it makes you want to duel heart of the cards bitch do, 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 do. <laughs> as a san fan hearing his falsetto is just like Oh, so good. I feel like we never really get to hear his falsetto as much nowadays. So with the chorus, it kind of has a drum and bassy feel, but it's not the same drum break that you normally hear in drum and bass. Much like in Halazia, at the end section there, it's very drum and bass. The chorus for this is much so like a drum break. It almost has a live drum feel, but it is still electronic. That's something that I actually like. Do you think they would play this live? Mm, not really. They're going to be on tour for for limitless promotion, so I'm sure mm. they will at some point. But I don't think that this would be part of their concerts. Mm -hmm. At least like their regular concert sets, if I'm being honest. Limitless also came out with Diamond. Mm. So technically it's like a song and a B-side, so who knows. Mm. Who's your bias? Listen, one, start. Hong Joon. June. Hong Joon. O O N G? Yeah, not June. I, th June. I, th I thought I said Hong Joon. Hong Joon. Hong Joon. <laughs> and yours is San. No, it's not San anymore. It's Yuno. You're kind of right. I mean, like, San forever and always, but like, Yuno's really up there. So they're both my bias. It's because we watched the Korean drama imitation, and I know the names. Okay, go. Yuno, Jung Ho. Who else? Was an imitation. Sad? Yes. And? There's another one? Yes, there is. Probably the one I don't talk about a lot. No oh, disrespect, oh, I love oh, it a lot. Oh, yeah. No! What? No! Oh. <laughs> okay, so John was in Shacks. Yes. You know is in... Oh, 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 oh. Sand is in Sparkling. Yes. Who's that last guy in Sparkling? No, you know's not in Shaxx, he's in Sparkling. I did say that. Jong Ho is in Shaxx. Jong Ho. San is in Sparkling. You know is in Sparkling. Who's the last one in Sparkling? No, Mingi. No. Do I? I don't know his name, actually. So, 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 so... yo -san. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Song Hwa. There we go. That's our boy. So we did watch Imitation and... To be fair, Song Hwa has like three lines. I don't know. Yeah. So now we're going to do a little breakdown. I've divided the song into separate channel stems and we're going to listen and see if there's anything worth noting. Let's get 
to that. And we're starting the recording. We're here today. Da, 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 da. Hey man, it's your boy Nito. We're back in the studio and we're breaking down AT's Limitless. Really good song. I really enjoyed it. Before we start, I do want to mention that the BPM, beats per minute, is 181, which is pretty high, but considering it's kind of like a high energy song, you'll notice a lot of OPs have that high BPM to just make you rock out. So we're going to go ahead and start listening and see what comes up. I really like this bass line. This bass line is really, really nice. Let's just listen to it. It's like distorted, but also they put like a high pass. Kind of highlights more of the vocals, which is really nice. Alright, sorry Mingi. I'm gonna highlight the drums really quick. These drums. So that's like a standard trap drum kit. Pretty nice rhythm. It's just solid, I would say. Uh, nothing too interesting about it, but it goes... You'll notice it in a lot of songs. In this case, I do think it's the sample choice that they had. It's very grungy. That kick is like boom. It's not like a regular boom. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I gotta replay that part. This part is so beautiful. Piano and guitar just... What an offset from the grunginess and the distortedness. They just take that and they just like kind of, they like throw it in your face and then all of a sudden we got some nice heavenly chords. Right. Let's listen to the drums right here. The drums, the drums. So it's kind of like drum and bass. It's not standard drum and bass, but it has more of a live drum feel to it. And I do believe that they use live drum sounds for this one. Oh yeah. And it's cool how they add everything together. You have that really beautiful pre-chorus part right here. And you can hear elements of it throughout the drum and bass part. That little switch up with the drums there. Okay, I like this part a lot. This part is probably my favorite part of the song. Hey yo, that little pop. Hey yo, hey yo, over and over and over. Hey yo, makera de na iji bunda can you walk? I'll take you my more than in control. Oh man, what do we touch up first? The little bit of the guitar. It just reminds me of Tekken for some reason. Then we got the bass line, which is just like dun dun. Put those together. Oh. oh yeah. And then the drums. I'm a big fan of these drums. Yeah. 
It's very different. It's not as busy as this intro part right here. Right? So you got that feel. And then you got these ones. Completely different. It sounds like real percussion, like they're probably hitting a can or something like that. For that little clap. Oh, and you bring back, bring back that grunge. Oh, yeah. I dig it. I dig that a lot. Oh, and then when you hear Mingi come in, it's just like, mm. so they had some space in the bass line for Hong Jun's voice. When Mingi comes in, they just hold that note, which is pretty interesting. Maybe it's the, the difference stylistically in the way they rap. Right, and then Mingi comes in. The mmm, mm, so sick. I just like this melody. Wow, that little acapella right there. So that little acapella part right there is just so nice. There's a lot of push and pull, a lot of tension within the instrumental, and then they add that to the vocals as well. So you have like this really heavy hitting drum and bass chorus, and all of a sudden for the bridge, just very, very calm, and then it really highlights the vocal melody, which I'm a big fan of. That little acapella part is just, oh, icing on the cake. <laughs> Are those ping pongs? Hold up. I wonder if they sampled like people playing ping pong or something. That'd be interesting. It's a pretty big space, but it really lets you like, it gives you a lot of anticipation for the drop and then going into the final chorus. Really nice. I like it. Okay, we gotta highlight the vocals in this one, man. Check this out. Wow, the harmonies, the harmonies are so good. <laughs> Insane. 
so it kind of ends the way it started with that bass line right and so we hear that in the beginning oh. right. I think it's the same one just a lot quieter right I'm kind of curious to hear what this little reverse piano section sounds like regular so let's just copy paste that here press r is that like a melody that's familiar for from 80s i don't know it might be from another song i'm not even sure maybe i need to listen to some more 80s overall i want to say it's a pretty solid song structure wise i would say it's pretty standard you have your intro verse chorus rap rap chorus bridge chorus and then that end part right there nothing too outside of the box but like rach was saying it is an op for Yu-Gi-Oh. so it makes sense that it has to be very consistent nothing too weird but i'm a big fan of the vocals especially that harmony <laughs> It's not my favorite AT song, but considering what it's for and also the context of the video, it does serve its purpose being an anime opening. And also that music video, very fan servicey, but that's for y'all. That's for the A-teens out there. On the music end, pretty solid. I guess a few takeaways from the music production side of it is the structure and also the BPM. And it's something to keep in mind, say, if I was hired to make an anime opening, I would probably make it. 180 bpm kind of a drum and bassy feel with a rock vibe very heavy hitting and grunge and there's a lot of tension within that a little pre-chorus there it's very eloquent and then it goes into like the heavy stuff so that's something that i really enjoyed as a listener maybe it's because i have adhd as a listener it's not boring albeit a little predictable but they give you some switch ups right there that little drop part with the acapella not too many people do that so i, I think it's really nice it's just nice to listen to hope you like that breakdown and hope you got a little bit of insight as to the production side of at's limitless that was a pretty good song so yeah so Rachel, how did you like being in a video with your boyfriend? It was interesting being in a video with my boyfriend and my eight other fictional boyfriends. It's pretty good. I have a lot of feelings <laughs> about ATs. Put your song in more things. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see Rachel in another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Not so much like focusing on like beating other people, but it's just like mm. self-improvement, you know? Self-improvement. Yeah. I like that. Right? This is about self-improvement. Sure. But also, double sign. Nice. Double sign, nice. That's where all the, the what's it called, comes from. You know, the novels. <laughs> what are they called? All, all the fan fiction.